Hey Thinksters, it's Chris, founder of Thinkster.com and in today's video I'm going to show you the Python set attribute attrib function. <laughs> so set attribute is short for, yeah, this is a shorthand function, it's a Python built-in function, you don't have to import anything and the function, uh, the function name is set. T-A-T-T-R and you pass three arguments into the function and it allows you to set a certain attribute of and of a given object and set it to a given value. Okay, so you so you do define as arguments, you define the object uh, for which you want to set an attribute. You set the attribute as a string. So this one will, will, will be an object, this one will be a string and this one will be the value you want to set it to. So let's have an example very short example so we create a class car and the car has consists of nothing okay so it's an empty class um, you have you have a class car and it doesn't have anything it doesn't have any uh, method it doesn't have any attribute and now you can uh, this is like very uh, it's called dynamic typing and python allows to do this you can create a car instance so this is an instance of the Porsche uh, it's an instance of of the class car and now you can associate some attributes to this um, to this car and uh, one way of doing this is the set attribute function and uh, of course we pass the Porsche object so we pass a reference to the object in memory um, into the set attribute function you pa we pass the attribute name so what attribute could a car have so for example it can have an attribute speed and then we can have a value like 100 miles per hour or so we can also set another attribute like also passing the same instance and it has now an attribute um, say um, brand and now the brand we can set it to Porsche okay so this way you can uh, you can set arbitrary arguments um, after defining the instance itself so this gives you great flex flexibility of um, creating your own instances and um, and customizing the behavior of certain objects of a certain class so for example this is I mean Java if you come from Java this is very different to what they are doing uh, basically you can't you can't dynamically set more attributes to the um, to the to an object in Java or in C++ as far as I know um, in Java I'm pretty sure that it's not possible uh, but in Python it's perfectly p possible and you can even use it with this uh, built-in function and now uh, so for example if you if you would create another so maybe let's have a, a simple example so if you print now Porsche dot speed and now note that we don't access the attribute with a string value. We only have to define the name of the attribute here as a string um, when passing it into the uh, into the um, into the set attribute function, built-in function. But if you access it, if you want to access the value of this attribute, then it will be um, simply by using this non-string, the name, um, uh, the yeah, the na name of the Porsche object. Okay, and we can also print the. Uh, brand of the Porsche object and now the result is if you if you run this 100 in Porsche okay now very now interesting interesting note that if you set the same attribute that already exists a second time say to BMW I don't know why I even used BMW yes <laughs> let's use Tesla um, then it will simply so it uh, it it will simply override an existing attribute if it already exists. So if you if you run this, you see it is overwritten by the name Tesla. And now you should also know that note that if you create say a Tesla as another car, so now we have two instances of the same um, of the same class of the same car class. But now, so what happens if we set the attribute to one instance? Does the other instance also see it? Let's check. Let's also print Tesla dot brand and see if this works. No, it doesn't work. Okay, it throws an attribute um, error because our car object, the Tesla object, doesn't have an attribute brand because we have not set it um, set this attribute. Okay, so we can't. We have to like if we wanted to do, to do this, we should have defined it in the class. So we can really set the attribute on an individual um, object or instance basis. So we can we can for example pass the Tesla instance into the set attribute uh, function and now it should work and we have skipped the error message. Okay, so this way you can dynamically set attributes and you should know that this is very similar to another way of setting attribute. Now, so for example, this Tesla kite has an attribute brand, but it hasn't it has it doesn't have an attribute speed. So what you can do is call Tesla dot speed. 
and set it to 100. So this is like this is very similar and I would say in many instances it's superior even to the set attribute to using the set attribute function but the set attribute function is a bit more powerful. I will explain why in a moment. So but let's first run this. And if you run it, you see, okay, we have this, exactly the same output in reverse because we first print the brand and then we print the speed. Okay, so you can also set attributes like this and override existing attributes like this. So for example, if you if you, if you you set it the second time like this and now we set it to 42. And if you run this code snippet now, the result is 42. Okay, so you can both set a new attribute or override an existing attribute with the same syntax, uh, much like the set attribute function. Um, okay, so why so why then do we actually have this set attribute function? And the reason is um, so I've I've chosen a simple example like this one. I will just copy paste the example and explain it here. We have a class person, we have a constructor, and the const constructor simply takes a dictionary called attributes. And now it iterates over all key value pairs in this dictionary using the items method and set the attribute from the key to the value. Okay, so we have the instance itself. This is the instance of the person we have just created. This is passed as the first argument to the set attribute function. As you already know, we have the key, which is the attribute name. It's a string. Uh, so our dictionary should map strings to values and value will be just any value that is associated to it. And now we create, we pass a dictionary into the constructor of the person. Okay, so we create a person, for, for example, uh, instance Alice, we create a person um, instance and for Bob the same person, but now they, we pass different um, different dictionaries into the constructor. And this way we create different attributes for both func uh, persons. Okay, so they, they they can they they are of the same type they are of the same class both as class person and both inherit all methods and attributes i would associate to the class person i don't have any here but i could associate more um attributes and methods uh but they but you can also customize uh these um um, instances by using by by passing a dictionary like this into it. Okay, so now for example, the person Alice would have an attribute name, would have an attribute income, and an attribute eyes. And now it now it comes in handy that you need to pass a string here instead of the na explicit name because we don't know the explicit name. It could be read from a file, for example. You could have store you could have a, a large file that stores some attribute names for all um, instances you want to create. So for example, you can create the instances based from based on a database or so you so you read the database uh, entry and you get some string values right and then you simply pass the string value um as the second argument of the set attribute function and this this way you can't do this with uh, with this explicit assignment function so you couldn't do couldn't write something like this self dot key equal value because key now is a string okay so what does it even mean so you have uh so now you call on the instance you call a string. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. You you need to you need to use a name here, not not a string. Okay, so this one would simply throw a syntax error. So we can try it. I can show you, but um, you can also just <laughs> believe me. So let's let's maybe uh, run this. Um, okay, we have. No we have I have a self dot key. Does it even work? <laughs> maybe it, maybe it even works. So let's maybe I will just try it. So uh, I have to. Uh, I have not tried this. I I do a lot of uh, this live coding, so I'm sometimes I'm also surprised. Good. Okay. So here we have created a um, person Alice. So we print Alice dot name, Alice dot income. Bob doesn't have an income um, attribute. Okay. So this is great. This way we can dynamically create. Um, instances and now say what 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 would happen if you would simply comment this out and use this one yeah then it would throw an error okay so i was right in the beginning uh you cannot you cannot do this because it it, it expects it doesn't expect um a string here but it expects a name as the key and therefore this is like th that's why it's useful to have the set attribute function because you pass a string value this is also i think the main reason why python's creators uh, thought that the set attribute function is a great thing to add and you see it's really great because now we can create dynamic like very dynamic uh, types or classes and um, it even d doesn't violate object-oriented uh, thinking because now all i mean you pass some attributes and um, all all persons are alike 
they just have different <laughs> attribute names or can have different attribute names. But they can also have a, a similar names. So for example, you could define more, you could have uh, more um, arguments here in the constructor and uh, those arguments and create some attributes that are shared by all persons. Like all persons have say an eye color or so, um, or an age, um, but um, or, or gender or so. Uh, so all persons ha do have those properties, but there are some persons who like have some properties that other persons don't have. And uh, that's why that's why it's really great to use the set attribute function. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Uh, you have learned about one very important Python functions a bit, improved your uh, object-oriented uh, skill sets. Um, I would like you to subscribe to the Things that channel, check out our free uh, email, Academy, it's the best Python email academy in the world. We have the largest library of content and of free courses. And you just have to subscribe, download the cheat sheets, get all the freebies um, from the Finkster Academy and just enjoy the content there. You can uh, get a link anywhere on the Finkster.com app or uh, Finkster blog Finkster, or you can even um, like check out the description below. And so check out our free email academy. It's the most um, comprehensive Python uh, email academy in the world. Thanks for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.